I guess that's not how monitoring should look like. Am I right? I guess the most of us have some scripts running on the system regularly. Do you really know if it's working all the time? Or are you just guessing and thinking like, ah, okay, it will be fine. Stop that. I'll show you a solution that can help you to monitor all of these things. Let's go. So today we are going to look at the tool Health Checks, which is basically just a Chrome job monitoring service, like it says here in the description. As described, it listens for HTTP requests that can be made by curl or by whatever, or also email pings. And that's how cron jobs and uh, scheduled tasks are monitored. So health checks basically get the ping and that's how it knows, okay, it was um, executed and basically done. You can have a look for all these options on the health checks GitHub page. So here we are in my productive health checks environment. We can see one project called Unraid here, which is basically my server with 17 checks and also two integrations. And we have a look on it. So you can see multiple scripts or multiple pings, whatever, because you see the URL here with a slug. And all of these stand for a different job that I have to do. So as you can see, for example, if I scroll down, we can see the next cloud preview generator. It has the ping with this number and we also have a notification if it not works for Discord and email. And that's basically our cron job. And we can also configure it and say, okay, which time zone has it and how much grace time should it have? Like maybe your script is running 60 minutes. So maybe, maybe then you should have more time, like 90 minutes if it takes longer why ever and uh, after this time after the grace time is yeah basically done the alert will be triggered and if we have a look now at the scripts in my unraid server we can basically see for the next cloud preview generator that i got the exact same crone uh, definition right here because otherwise it wouldn't, wouldn't make sense you need to have the same declaration how it runs because how should it check if it really works the establishment of this script is very simple because we can see I have a docker command here because my next cloud instance is a docker container and I just call a command and afterwards I just check if it or if the command uh, output was zero because if it was zero it's fine and if it's one it's basically false so like true and false just basic values and if I know okay it succeeded I also log this for script succeeded it's okay and but I also do this ping here to my instance of health checks and this works and i show you right now because if i just let me trigger this one trigger this this will this will need a bit i thought it will need a bit but it didn't so the script succeeded basically and if we have a look here we can see six, uh, six seconds ago there was a ping from this instance or at this url that we can see here and that's basically it so simple it's also very cool that you can have your own tags for everything. You can describe it and also have these little badges you might know. Oh, uh -huh. why they don't show? I don't know why they're not showing right now. Okay. But normally you have these badges, you know, I can show you uh, later. You know them from GitHub, like up and down. And you can also see them for the tags. That's also interesting. Not only the overall status, but for the tags. I guess it's a problem because I'm uh, having it reverse proxied to, through my own network and it can be shown because it's HTTPS right now, but the instance is not HTTPS. But let's have a look how to set up this right now. So I'm basically using the Linux server health chicks images uh, image. It's not really different, but it's especially made and uh, maintained for Linux. And we can have a look at here and see there's already a predefined Docker Compose. So we don't really need to need to do anything. We can just copy it and go to our server. For me, this is my virtual machine instance instance right now. And I can say nano docker compose dot yaml and can say paste. And we can see we have many optional values here, but for now we don't consider them because we will just have a minimal example to get it running and you refine. You can check out all options on the GitHub page or on the health checks on the docs Linux server page. So feel free to do what you want. So we need a super user first. I'll just call him Sasha at Sasha dot 
de then my password is also my name which is very secure of course but it's in test environment so we don't care i can also say the time zone where i am is europe berlin and um, the site route should be the one that is your site right now because my container not my container my vm ip is this one also added with the port if you are running it behind a reverse proxy for example you should post the, the whole url here and the site name you can tell whatever you want but i call it now health checks and that should be it already looks fine we can save it now we have to just start the docker compose command and let's see the magic happening so the image was pulled the container was created and now we can have a have a look at our browser in our browser and call this ip and we can already see okay that's uh, it shouldn't be like this right now normally i shouldn't be logged in but um at this i did this video also already in german normally you would have the login page right now and would basically log in but we skip this right now and we can see after the login we land on this page and see hey that's my first check because there's always this one as an example uh, added and we can see everything is all right and also the test one is also uh, of something of mine of course it's safe because i have used the same path and it was already yeah the data of the application that's why we are here but no problem you know that uh, how it looked like i can also show you uh, again how it looks if you log out for example then okay that would be the first thing you would see and you can just, just log in and it says google should uh, should uh, change this easy password but we don't care and now it looks basically like mine and that's also what i wanted to show you with these badges this looks like on github these badges or you might have seen them somewhere else on some pages github gitlab wherever in some projects and we can also add now our prize things and um, for those of you who might not know a price that which is not activated right now because it was an environment variable with a price you can basically send a notification to anywhere many many self-hosted services or in general services are including this right now no, not right now since a time now because it includes so much notification possibilities with zero effort you can just type in and there's already a documentation for a price and you just need to do what they say it's less um let's less stress for you and also for some developers that want just to create a notification service because you can use it out of the box so um like i use it for discord for a bot it's really really nice so i use it for the email or for a discord so i'm always notified if something really really fails and basically that's it you could go there and add a check do whatever you want you can do it with a crone schedule uh, you can also do it with something simple define it else also with some calendar things whatever add any tag you want like what what and say my second check you can also use your um, own slug but i don't care and that's it so basically i hope you enjoyed this video i can sh tell you what is coming next because we are going to have a journey together i will create my productive environment in my home lab with you together as a uh, video example so all of my I, I would say all of my important services that i'm running we want to have the exact same way that i'm running everything we want to do it again but together so you can see how to set up a reverse proxy how to set up some really cool services and i guess there will be something that you might find interesting maybe not everything but it's no problem just click and watch what you want and i would be happy if you would join me on this journey and you can comment if you want like it and uh, i would also be happy if you subscribed so we see us again bye bye <laughs>